Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss introduction to high level programming languages or introduction to high level languages. In this tutorial, we are going to understand what are high level programming languages and why high level programming languages are designed or developed. Before we learn what are high level programming languages and why they are developed, we are going to discuss what we have learned so far. In the previous tutorial, we understood what is a computer. Computer is an electronic device. It takes data as an input, processes it and gives information as an output. Computer has no self-intelligence or natural intelligence like us. We need to tell computer what to do step by step in a specific order. A process or a way of telling a computer what to do in a specific order is known as programming. To help programmers to communicate with machines or computers, many programming languages have been designed or developed. They are low level programming languages and high level programming languages. Low level programming languages are again divided into machine level programming languages and assembly level programming languages. High level programming languages are again divided into general purpose programming languages and specific purpose programming languages. So far we have learned low level programming languages that is machine level programming language and assembly level programming language. We can't use human languages to tell computer what to do because computer doesn't know or understand human languages. It has its own language called as machine language or binary language. So to communicate with computer or machines, we have to learn machine language. Hence, we created machine language first. What is a machine language? Is a set of instructions or commands containing only zeros and ones. We understood that machine languages are directly executed by CPU and code execution will be faster because no translation is required. But there are some disadvantages with respect to machine language. That is, it is very difficult to write or learn machine language. It is very difficult to write codes. It takes so much time to write programs in machine language because everything we have to write in zeros and ones. We have to think in zeros and ones. We programmers are good at English like statements, not in zeros and ones, not in with respect to numbers. And how do we write a program or instructions for a computer in machine language? First, we must and should understand the architecture of the computer itself, like whether it is a 8 bit machine or a 16 bit machine or 32 bit machine or 64 bit machine. Based on that, we have to write the instructions. We have to understand what are the registers are available for public purpose or programming purpose and their addresses. Then we need to understand commands available with respect to that computer. For example, 1101 indicates move immediately command, 0101 indicates the add command, 1010 indicates the display command. Once we understand the binary equivalent of the commands, then we need to understand the instruction format and write the instructions for the computer. That is a process of writing a program for a computer in a machine language. But there are limitations as I told. It is very difficult to learn. It is difficult to code the program. It is difficult to debug the errors if we make any mistakes. One of the biggest disadvantage is a code written for a computer of one platform will not get executed on another platform without any modifications or readjustments because the another computer or a platform may be of different type. Maybe that computer is of 8 bit platform or a 16 bit platform. Maybe it has different architecture like different registers available with different name with different addresses. Maybe that computer has different commands or binary equivalent for commands. You can see that for machine one here we have 0001 for load command, 0101 for add command, 1010 for print command. To write the program or same instructions for another computer, we need to make little bit readjustments in the source code with respect to that platform and give that code to the computer for execution. So again, programmer must and should understand the architecture of the computer, understand the commands available with respect to that machine. Then he need to understand the instruction format and then he need to readjust the source code and give it to the computer. Hence, machine language codes are platform dependent. 
without readjusting you can't execute the same code on another platform as we programmers are good at english language we wanted to create a programming language which should contain english like statements hence we created assembly language assembly language is going to contain english like statements we know that assembly languages are easy to remember easy to code easy to understand less error prone and how do we write code in assembly language for a specific computer or a specific platform again programmer must and should understand the architecture of the platform based on that we have to write the code then we need to understand what are the registers available with respect to that computer r1 register r2 register are available for programming we need to understand the commands available with respect to that computer like move immediately add command display command based on that we have to write the assembly level language code once we write the assembly level language code we give that to the assembler and assembler is going to convert those assembly level language statements to the machine level language statements with respect to that computer then the computer is going to execute that code there are two different assemblers normally we find masm and tasm masm stands for macro assembler tasm stands for turbo assembler those are assemblers which are going to convert assembly level language codes to machine level language codes and one of the biggest disadvantage with respect to the assembler is assembly level languages are platform dependent that means code written for one platform will not get executed on another platform because commands might be different on that platform or maybe that platform architecture is completely different hence to write the same program or execute the same code on another platform we need to readjust we need to modify the source code little bit with respect to that architecture hence again the programmer must and should understand the architecture of the platform he need to understand the commands available with respect to that platform then he need to readjust the source code and give it to the assembler available on that platform now the assembler is going to convert those assembly level language codes to machine code and then the computer is going to execute that machine program and also one more disadvantage with respect to the assembly level language codes is uh, a functionality possible to write in a single line in high level language may spread over many more lines in assembly level languages that means assembly level language codes are more tedious more lengthy codes low level programming languages are actually as i told they are machine friendly because programmer must and should understand the machine architecture then only he can write the code and he can't write a single code and execute it on more and more than one platform he can't execute a single code on more than one platform without understanding the architecture of the computer as uh, low level languages are machine friendly and they are platform dependent so we wanted to create more programmer friendly and platform independent programming languages languages which are programmer friendly more or less platform independent are high level programming languages high level programming languages are programmer friendly and uh, platform independent what is the meaning of programmer friendly programmer friendly means easy to learn a language which is easy to learn easy to code easy to debug more functionality with less code rapid application development reusability of the code extendability that means we can be able to extend the code easily maintainability programmer need not to worry about the underlying architecture he just need to learn the programming language and write the code that's it he need not to worry about the underlying architecture that is called as programmer friendly what is platform independent platform independence means program written in a language that does not need to readjust or recompile for another platform for execution if you remember machine languages and uh, assembly languages are platform dependent if you want to execute the code on another platform definitely you need to readjust with respect to that platform by understanding the architecture with respect to high level programming languages you need not to worry about the underlying architecture high level programming languages codes are english like statements 
and you need not to readjust or recompile high level programming languages are either interpreted programming languages or compiled programming languages or compiled as well as interpreted programming languages programming languages which are compiled as well as interpreted they are actually called as hybrid programming languages or hybrid languages for example basic javascript php python are interpreted programming languages c c++ objective c they are examples for compiled programming languages c sharp java action script they are compiled and interpreted programming languages we are going to discuss about each of these programming languages in detail in upcoming video tutorials hope you guys have understood what are high level programming languages high level programming languages are programmer friendly and platform independent more or less platform independent and why we created high level programming languages of course we wanted to create more programmer friendly and platform independent codes we can be able to write code once and execute it on more than one platforms hope you guys have understood for this tutorial this much is enough friends in the next tutorial we get more information for more benefits please subscribe like comment and share these videos keep learning keep coding keep sharing see you in the next tutorial